Thank you. どうぞおかけになってください。総理大臣、岸田夫人。エヴァンと私は、ハリス副大統領とセカンドジェントルマンと一緒に国務省へお迎えしたいと思います。こんなにあの立派な同僚、友人と交換とご一緒できることを非常に嬉しく思っております。議員のメンバーも出席してまして、彼らは。この演説、総理の演説をご覧になったばかりです。この行動協議会が初めてフレンズゾーンズに言及したと思います。でも、後ほどその話にしましょう。初めて米国がこの日本からのこの視察団を取材したのは1860年でした。その旅は3ヶ月かかりました。で到着しましたら、まずホワイトハウス、それから国務省に訪れ、そこでは、えー、にぎやかな晩餐会がありました、そこでシャンペーンとか音楽とか踊りがありました。駅ですね日本の代表団は、米国上院の審議を監視し、それから米国の海軍天文台で遠避鏡、遠望遠鏡を使って、初めて月面を見ることができました。その時から何世代かのいったアメリカ人と日本人がこの両国の関係によって視野を広げてきたわけです。東京の知事がこの桜を100年前にこの木を寄贈しましたけれどもこれは春の印となっていまして我々の両国の友情関係がどんなに我々の国民それから世界にインパクトを与えたかの思いでしました。過去3年間我々はいろんな人がこの桜を見るために全国からワシントン DC に来てこのワシントン DC の象徴になっていまして日本の人間になっていますこの3年間我々はこの関係に大いにエネルギーを投資してきましてもっと強化しましたでこの安保の協力を強化しリニューアブルエネルギーの協力も拡大しましたそして AI とか量子コンピューティングその他21世紀の革新の主力となる技術のコラボレーションを進めていますインドとオーストラリアとともにクアドを復興し韓国との三極協力を高めました本日フィリピンと一緒に同じようなステップを取ることになります G7 をリードして今の課題例えばロシアの侵略戦争のウクライナの防衛を援助したりインフラを世界中で援助していますですから肩を組んで自由に開かれた国際秩序を守り我々の安保と繁栄に不完結な秩序ですでこれはこのパートナーシップは広島,出広島出身の総理と行ってきたことはこれは癒しと復興の精神に基づいて我々のパートナーシップのためとなっています。でもちろん我々のこの絆は政府が作っているのだけではなくいろんなアメリカ人と日本人が作ってきたわけです。で総理大臣が今回持ってきてくださったこの小さい木と同じようにこの強く伸びて予想できない形で伸びています1872年にはアメリカ人の学校の先生が日本に野球を紹介しました開成学園これで教えたんですけれどもそこでちょうど総理大臣がそこでメルシーになったわけです黒沢の,この7人の侍のクラシック映画はアメリカの素晴らしいウエスタンマイクニビセントセブンのインスピレーションになった,なったわけです何十年後にアメリカのアカデミー賞を受賞したアルフギバンという映画はまた日本では侍の映画として作り直されたわけです1963年に日本の,その貿易の交換が岸田文武という人が日本ニューヨークシティに駐在しましてその時6つの息子さんも一緒だったんですその人文代さんでした文代ちゃんでしたその将来総理となった人はその時はなかなかその言語で苦,難苦労して非常に苦労したので耳を向ける傾けることが非常に大事だということを学んだとそういう。At the White House and today before our Congress, know how he's mastered the ability 
to speak to people, but also, based on what he says so clearly, to have listened to them. Um, this is a man of not only extraordinary leadership, but deep empathy that's reflected in his leadership. Not far from here at the Smithsonian's Modern Art Museum, the record for the two most popular exhibits are held by the same artist, Yayoi Kusama. Many of you have seen these installations, her affinity mirror rooms, where bright glowing polka dotted cover or covered orbs seem to extend on forever. Early in her career, Kusama wrote a letter to the great American painter, George O'Keeffe, looking for advice. She dreamed of moving to New York, but felt daunted. O'Keeffe wrote back to her, make the leap. Kusama did, and the rest is truly infinity. These threads that connect our people, connect our cultures through time, they feel a little bit like Kusama's installations, spreading with radiant, glowing ties as far as the eye can see including into space, where we're working together on everything from running an international space station to using the James Webb Telescope to better understand how our universe was formed in the first place. And now, more than 160 years after that first Japanese delegation came to the United States and looked at the Naval Observatory through a telescope at the moon, we've agreed to be the first two nations to step foot on its surface together and drive around on it too. We have a lunar rover that Japan is building, a model of which you'll be able to see when you walk out of the State Department today. So, please, join me in raising a glass. Thank you. Thank you very much. To all the places we can imagine our extraordinary friendship will take us, and even more, to all the places we cannot even imagine in this moment going but where we know our determination, our innovation, and especially our friendship and cooperation will one day allow us to walk together. And now, ladies and gentlemen, it's a great pleasure for me to hand the microphone over to someone who as Vice President made her very first trip, foreign trip, in that capacity, to the Indo-Pacific. Someone who has been leading our efforts these past three years to deepen, to strengthen our ties to our most critical partners in the world. Ladies and gentlemen, the Vice President of the United States. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you all and good afternoon. Secretary Blinken, Ms. Evan Ryan, it is yet again an honor for Doug and I to co-host this important luncheon with you and to welcome Prime Minister Kishida and Mrs. Kishida and welcome again to all of our distinguished guests. I look around this room and I see extraordinary leaders of our two countries who are doing so much to lay the foundation and reinforce the work that we are doing at this level to strengthen the relationship between our two nations. And I thank you for that. Mr. Prime Minister, it is wonderful to welcome you back to Washington, D.C. As President of the United States Senate, I also had the great honor of, of co-chairing your presentation to the joint session of Congress. And you made quite clear that Japan will continue um, to be strong as a partner and a dear close friend of the United States. And um, Secretary Blinken mentioned that the Prime Minister made reference in his presentation to the joint session of the Flintstones. Many of us will remember the cartoon. I thought it was particularly poignant when he said, but he's not sure how to translate yabba dabba doo. <laughs> yeah. Mr. Prime Minister, we are so grateful for your commitment to our alliance. And I will say as a proud daughter of California, I grew up surrounded by Japanese American culture and history, starting of course with learning about the Japanese emissaries who arrived in San Francisco in the 19th century, the first place that they visited in America. And over the years, celebrating that history, be it in San Francisco's Japantown, in the Peace Plaza, or in the Presidio, where in 1951, 
the security treaty was signed. And in my elected career as District Attorney of San Francisco, Attorney General of California, and a United States Senator, one of my dearest friends and advisors was Secretary Normanetta. And as you may know, Mr. Prime Minister, because of Norm's Japanese ancestry, he was forced into incarceration by the United States during World War II, yet ultimately became one of the greatest statesmen of America. And he fought throughout his career, understanding the importance of balancing and prioritizing both national security and what we must do in terms of civil rights. And he showed us that from great pain can come great purpose and progress. And in honor of your visit, we pay tribute to him with the establishment of the Mineta Ambassadors Program to increase student exchanges. Mr. Prime Minister, I'm incredibly proud of the purpose we share and the progress our two nations have made. And as Vice President, it has been one of my great honors to help further the strengthen those ties. You and I, as Secretary Blinken mentioned, first met in September of 2022 when I traveled to Tokyo to represent the United States at the funeral of Prime Minister Abe. Prime Minister Abe was the author, of course, of the principle of a free and open Indo-Pacific. And he invested in the U.S.-Japan alliance and set Japan on a course of global leadership. Mr. Prime Minister, under your leadership, Japan's global role has grown immensely and even further, and the United States and the Japan Alliance is now stronger than ever. During my trip to Japan, I flew south across the Tokyo Bay to a joint naval base where Japanese and American sailors train and serve side by side. From the flight deck of the USS Howard, I had the honor of addressing hundreds of American sailors in dress whites, from which I explained the United States is a proud Indo-Pacific power, that the U.S.-Japan alliance is the cornerstone of peace and stability in the region, and America's commitment to Japan's defense is ironclad. And today, I will add, the bonds between our nations and people are also ironclad. Under your leadership, Japan has been an extraordinary partner to the United States. In addition to Tokyo, you and I have met in Bangkok, in Jakarta, and here in Washington at the Vice President's residence. Each visit building upon our contributions to global security and global prosperity, from maintaining peace and stability in the Taiwan Strait, to trilateral cooperation with South Korea, to the defense of rules and norms in the South China Sea, a dialogue which we will continue later today with President Biden and President Marcos. We have worked together to advance investment, research, development for our semiconductors, resulting in strong supply chains and a strong American manufacturing industry. And building on our first conversation 18 months ago, yesterday we announced that a Japanese astronaut will be the first international astronaut to the moon as part of our collaboration under the Artemis program. Yes. <laughs> Ultimately, I believe the U.S.-Japan alliance is a source of great strength for the United States, militarily, economically, and culturally, and it is a force for good in the world. So I will conclude where I began. My home state of California, and Japan. In 1964, as we know, while you were living in New York, as the Secretary just referenced, my beloved San Francisco Giants <laughs> called up a pitcher from the minor leagues. And in September of that year, that player debuted at Shea Stadium in a Giants game versus the Mets, just a few miles from your school in Queens. At that moment, Mashi Murakami made history as the first Japanese player to play a major league baseball game in America. And I'm told he quickly instilled in you a love for baseball. So I will raise a glass. To my beloved San Francisco Giants, <laughs> <laughs>
and your Hiroshima Toyo car. <laughs> and to all the enduring bonds between our nations. Thank you. And now I present the Prime Minister. え、ハリス副大統領閣下、そしてエムホフ様、そしてブリンケン国務長官とライアン官房長官、皆様ご参加を催していただき、誠にありがとうございます。緑多い議論というのはあ、よく外交官が使う言葉です。え、私も外務大臣をやっておりましたので、ま、聞き飽きるほど耳にした言葉でありました。え、ま、外交官がインテレスティングという時はかなりの確 確率で本音としてボーリングと思っているということもま知っております。え、しかしこの一つはっきりと申し上げます。昨日バイデン大統領と私は本当に実に実に実に実に実に実に実に実に実に実に実に実に実に実に実に実に実に実に実に実に実に
多様法制を税金のためにための原料原理原動力にできると考えます。日米が自由を享受し、お互いにオープンで率直であったからこそ、これまでここにいらっしゃる皆様方のように、幅広い分野において活躍される各界の方々が意見や、立場の相違を乗り越えて、相互理解を深め、日米の関係を前進させる大きな原動力を生み出してこられたと思います。これからもそのようにしていこうではありませんか。しかし、今はその前にランチを楽しみましょう。えー、今日の揺るぎない、えー、日米関係は、皆様の情熱と貢献があってのものです。えー、この場を借りて、えー、改めて感謝を申し上げます。えー、そして、皆様のご検証と日米関係の一層の進化を願って、私からも乾杯,の乾杯をさせていただきたいと思います。それでは改めて日米,日米関係の輝きらしい未来と皆様方お一人お一人がまた素晴らしい活躍をされますことを記念いたします。乾杯チェース